Hello, our customers have been asking us how to create matrix items in Clover. These are items with variants and attributes. They're like clothing, um, shoes, shirt, for example. Here's an example of a sandal with different colors and sizes. And we're gonna create this item in Clover. So let's go to Clover. And you'll see there's an item here that says men's Levi slim fit um, jeans. And it shows uh, their different sizes here. And it says a variant right here. We're going to do the same right now. Add variant, give it a name. You can add a price, say $19.99. Since this is what we call the parent, this will be overwritten. Click item with variants, continue. Now you got to give it an attribute, color and size. So we know there's three colors. There is white, there's black, now let's add another attribute. We want size, right? So let's do size, 9M for men's, 10M, 11M, and 12M. Now I'll hit save. Now Clover is creating these items right now. So now you have the, the products created here. So you look at, we got color and size sitting here, your attributes and your options, your size options and your color options. Below, you'll see the products are created here, but they have no price. There's no code or SKU. For an integration, for Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, you need SKUs. We're going to uh, update every single product here and give it uh, product codes or SKUs. So let's say the price is, you know, $19.99. Now, item tracking, give it a, a code, say, and just copy the code into the SKU field. Give it a stock, say, I don't know, we got it five, and it's done. Now it's save. And you're gonna to wanna to do this for all your products, but they have to have unique SKUs and codes. So let's do the next one. Hit save and continue and update all the every single item. Now that you've created all your products, your variants and updated their pricing and added unique SKUs and product codes, if you needed to change this name, this is a good time to do it now because it can affect an integration for a shopping cart. So I'm just gonna add Levi's to this, men's Levi's, Levi. And I'm gonna hit save. You hit refresh. Now you see men's Levi, Kyle Cowdell Sandals. So the products are ready for integration. Now if you log in to CosmosEsync.com, we're going to send these to our Shopify and we have a WooCommerce store. So we're going to send it to two different shopping carts. This is got Clover to Shopify, send matrix items, and then send inventory after. Let's hit the run button for this product we just created and it's going to create on Shopify. If your schedule's on, it'll automatically do that. You can set your schedule run by the minute interval or an hour interval. So you can run every five minutes if you want it. Then just walk away. Or you hit the run button. You also have an activity log that'll tell you what's happening during that transaction. Since there are two actions, they're doing creating product and inventory. Those are gonna run first, 12 records, so it's 12 SKUs are gonna process creating the products, and then after it's gonna start inventory. So 12 SKUs might take a few minutes to process. You gotta give it time to process and then go to your website and look for the product. We're gonna look in Shopify because we ran that one first. And you'll see here, Men's Levi, Kyle J Casual Sandals with 12 variants. And then if we click on the product view, you'll see how it looks on your website. You got your size options, color options. If you have any questions, please contact us at cosmocentral.com with a K and start your free trial today. Thank you.